Hi, Grade Eights. Welcome to our fourth and final lesson of music this half term. Today, we're going to be taking what we did last week and finally making it into a solid finished product that we will forever remember until we are 80 something years old. So let's do this well. So what I have here right now is what you should have from last week's assignment, which is right over here, you have your MP3 track. And then here, this is your whole consolidated MP3 track. And then right over here, you have your vocal take. And just wanted to say something, each of you did such an amazing job. It's just getting better and better in quality. So that's what we want to keep maintaining. So this is what you should have. So you consolidate a track and your vocal take here. So this is mine. Uh, looking at the sun. Oh, my eyes. Oh, man, that was dumb. Sunscreen, sunshades, my hat, cold fade, my lunch. No way, wait, is that an ostrich? Looking up, I wish I had realized that it would burn my eyes. I burn, I burn, that big purple burn. Every time I look at the skyline, I get some retina burn. My eyes, I burn, I burn, that big purple burn. Staring at the sun will be the dim eyes of your eyes. That burn, that burn, that big purple burn. Every time I look at the skyline, I get some retina burn. My all right, and that's it. Just about 42, 43 seconds right there. So now what we're going to do, which is going to be the fun part of our whole project, is we're going to turn it into a music video. Woo! So that means you're going to have to bust out your camera, but you're not going to have to bust out your highest quality because if you bust out your highest quality, then it will make it very frustrating and extremely slow. So get down to a basic quality, about like 640 times 480 or even 720 times 40 you don't want anything big and just record yourself having some fun i've already recorded myself so i'll show you how that goes but before you do first up we need to save this new folder which has our vocal track as another mp3 so we're going to go to file and we're going to go to download and mix down as as usual you know what to do Remember, sometimes you might have to go back to the library and come back to it if you really want to download it and export it. All right, and there we go. So you can see it right over here. Here's my MP3. Make sure you put the title there. Mine's called Retina Burn. Don't look at the sun for too long. So now that we're finished with making our track, we have exported it, our vocals and our whole track mix right here. Now we need to go to a good video editor. So... I know that all of us have limitations on our computers. That's why we have the internet. And the internet is going to help us a lot right here. So what I want you to do is to go to invideo.io. Right there. And this is what we're going to be using just to help facilitate the process of building our music video. All right. So once you've typed in invideo.io, click right here where it says try now. It's free. All right. Then we click here. You can choose to save it. I'm just going to click that X. We are going to go to individual. Then we click next. Don't worry about this. Just click close. And we are in. So once you're in, you're going to click blank canvas right here. So you can start from scratch. Then go to click make a video. Give it a second to load. All right. And right there, we are in. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag my file from where I downloaded it, the audio file, and I'm gonna drag it right here into uploads. So you have to make sure you click on uploads and it's there. So this shouldn't take long because it's a pretty small file. It's like a couple hundred KB, not even one MB. And right there, it's almost finished. There it's done. So now if you hover over it, you'll hear your track. Uh, Just like that. that. So to get any audio track right in here, which is in your editing area, you want to click it and it will just appear right there. And it says here, the selected voiceover was added to the video. So right there. Now you just need to know some very basic things. So like how to move your track. So you just hold it and you see these four arrows right there. That's how you know you're moving it. If you go to the end over here, that's if you want to elongate it, okay? So these ones are for elongation. This one is for moving. Just a couple of things you just need to know. I'm gonna call this, you can call leave it as voiceover. Next thing, we're gonna try and get in some videos some nice stock footage. So one thing you need to realize is a lot of people put in a lot of work to capture different videos, to capture different images. And so 
if they were to put it for free, they wouldn't really make a living. So a lot of these things are charged for, especially if you see these crown things over here, and that means you have to pay for them if you want the watermark to be removed. So that's how they discourage people from actually stealing footage by putting a watermark. So if you had like the premium version, you could download this, you could download all the images and they would have no watermark. But we don't have that luxury, so we're gonna try, we, we can use them, we won't mind the watermark, but if you find one which doesn't have the crown, even better, there won't be a watermark that you have to worry about. So I'm gonna remove, include iStock results, just cause those are the ones that have some crowns on them. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try and type in different subjects that kind of match up to the lyrics I was doing. So like, I'm gonna type in sun. And let's see what we can come up with. Let's see what they give us. We change that to sunrise. So I'm gonna start up by typing the name of the subject that I chose, which was Skyline. Let's see if anything cool comes up. This one looks interesting. So if you find something that you like, just click on it to load this thing called the trimmer, which allows you to edit it. So you don't wanna put the entire thing, cause we're gonna be putting bits and bits of things so that it can be interesting, so things can keep moving. So let's see what this looks like. All right, that looks interesting. So let me get, I'm just gonna get about like four seconds of that. Um, I'm gonna click done. Then notice it will come right here in your editor. And so here it is in your editor. And so you can drag it or do whatever you want with it. Now, let me drag my track here and let's see what it looks like so far. Ah, uh, looking at the sun. Oh my eyes, oh man. All right, right there. Now I'm satisfied with that. Now there's a point in the song where I'm seeing this animal. Let's see if we can find something that has this so it can be a bit fun. And so this time I'm gonna go look for an image, see what we can find. So this is gonna be still, why? Cause it's an image, all right, this looks funny. Let's plug that in here. So I'm gonna drop it in and it's gonna add it as a layer, meaning it's gonna be on top. If you ever notice where two of these things are on top of each other, that means you're gonna have the two videos playing at the same time or a video and an image in this case. So let me just quickly rename to rename, go to where the title is, click that little pen on that paper and just change it so that you can know where you are so that you don't have to worry too much about what is this media one, what is this media two. I'm gonna call this Skyline. All right, so right there. All right, I'm gonna go with this stock image right here, some sunglasses, I'm gonna drop that in. So you'll see the watermark here, which is, it, it's not bad, but you'd usually prefer to have some that don't have the watermark. So still aim for those that don't have watermarks. I'm gonna call this sunglasses. Find a good place to put it. Looking up, I wish I had realized. Try and put in the different parts of your videos with parts that actually where the beat comes in so they can have more of a bit of an impact. So it's not just randomly and spontaneously just coming along. So if this happens and it's just like that, it's a bit small, just make it a bit wider. Pretty common sense right there. Drag it. Let's see how it goes from here. I had realized that it would burn my eye. So at this point, make sure you have some, you've recorded yourself, or if you haven't, then just take some time to record yourself on your phone. Make sure it's not high quality. If you record in 4K, it will not work because it'll just be too big for to have even just 10 seconds will be almost a gigabyte. So just record on very low quality, but not super low. You don't wanna record on 144p. Take it somewhere between 480 and 720 or 480 and 640p. That will be enough. And just keep it nice and short. So but the point is, I just wanted there to be at least one point in your video where we can actually see you or see something you film. It doesn't even have to be you, but it'd be nice to have you and just something else that's just random, something that you feel, feel would fit in pretty well for your video. Or that just has some deeper abstract meaning that is for us as the viewers to figure out. Just make, have fun with it. So I've, I have my footage right over here. We go to, here it is. So I have to make sure I click uploads so I can put it in there. Go to my finder, I'm gonna drag it in. And notice how it says up to 200 MB. So that's what I'm saying. If you put two, if you record in too high quality, it will not be able to upload. So I just took a random video of me doing random stuff that I feel could fit in well for my video. And so I'm just gonna edit it and trim certain parts and see what I like and fit in there. 
All right, and once it's done, just drag it into your editor. And then you can watch it through. All right, so that's my footage. Let me find a good place to edit it from. All right, so I'll start from here, trim it, pull that there. Where do I want it to end? All right, up until there. We have no idea what's going on, and that's all right. So those are the wrong arrows. Where are my small arrows? There they are. Pull them in. All right, click done. All right, then let's see where it enters. Then I'm going to change this into me. Find a good place to put it. Remember, you just want to be changing the scenes where the beat change, where the beat comes in, or where there's a beat sound. So it just has, so the video has a bit more, more of an entry. All these lines help you center it. So just find a good place to put it in. All right, let's see how, it, let's see if it came in the beat. My eyes, I burn, that burn, that big purple burn. Every time I look at the skyline, I get some retina burn. My eyes, that burn, that burn, that big purple burn. Staring at the sun will be the dim. All right, so notice how I haven't done any like lip syncing with it because that can get a little bit complicated because you have to have a bit of a sync clap at the beginning. So you kind of like clap it in so that you can also time it. And also you have to be listening to it at the same time. So don't worry about mouthing the words. Just do something that seems fitting for your video, okay? All right, so now let me see if I can find something just to help finish it off. I'll go back to my video. Type in some sunset. No eye stock results. Uh, looking at the sun. Oh, my eyes. Oh, man. That was dumb. Eyes that burn, that burn, that big purple. It would burn my eyes that burn, that burn, that big purple burn. Every time that burn, that burn, that big purple burn. Staring at the sun will be the demise of your eyes that burn, that burn, that big. All right, so at this point, I've finished editing and putting in all the different clips where I want them. I've named them well, so it was pretty easy for me to navigate through them as I was doing that. So make sure you just name them. Keep it easy for yourself. Trim them. Don't put them the full video all the time. Otherwise, you'll just make your work a little bit harder. Now, after you're done with this, I'll show you my video at the end of, the, at the end of this lesson. So make sure that you stay till the end. Now, once you're done with that, we're just going to click download and share. And then just keep it simple, take it to 720p, click export, it'll tell you it's loading. And once it's finished loading, you'll see it over here and it's rendering so that it can fully consolidate the entire video. So just give it some time to finish rendering. And once it reaches 100%, you're good to go. And so once it's finished rendering, click the download button and you will have it as a full video files an mp4 right over here notice how it's not too big because it's been consolidated and rendered and everything and it's also not in 4k so for me to be able to view your different videos i want you to go down over here and click this part where it says share video and you're going to click on this chain copy link quickly go to your email address put your link and your name in your email address Don't forget, we're going to be watching all these videos in week eight. So you have this week, next week, week seven, and then week eight, we're going to be putting it in front of each other so we can see what we've all made. So make it good. Make sure it's really good, okay? And that's it, grade eights. So that's our band lab track consolidated with our vocals, put in with a music video, and finally downloading and exporting and rendering our video and sharing the link to me okay so have fun with this remember it's about creativity don't be too don't be too serious with it saying all right if this is what i said this is what i need to put you know have some fun with it think a bit abstractly think out of the box think at the corner of the box think at the edge of the box and think about the person who actually created the box have fun with it and make it good and that's it grade eight have fun doing this i'm really looking forward to seeing your videos you have three weeks do it well bye grade eights uh, looking at the sun. Oh, my eyes. Oh, man. That was dumb. Sunscreen, sunshades, my hat, cold fade, my lunch. No way, wait. Is that an ostrich? Looking up 
I wish I had realized that it would burn my eyes. I burn, I burn, that big purple burn. Every time I look at the skyline, I get some retina burn. My eyes, I burn, I burn, that big purple burn. Staring at the sun will be the demise of your eyes. I burn, I burn, that big purple burn. Every time I look at the skyline.